it goes around 22,000 hertz as the maximum. But most of the frequencies we have, you don't need up to 22,000 hertz. Most of the frequencies, even Dr. Royal's frequencies, most of them are under 20,000 hertz. Like the higher hertz doesn't mean that's going to work better. How long, how close do you need to be? About three feet, right? Just three feet. Probably the ideal. You can wear it. You have these lanyards that, that you can get. You can wear it on your on yourself, on your person. Or you can just put it on the table and you'll get that magnetic energy. If you have the if you have the gold R kit, then you can connect this to Bluetooth. So you see this tablet is connected to this Bluetooth wirelessly. And then this Bluetooth is connected to the coil uh, with the wire. You need the wire, you can't be wireless. But uh, but this is wireless. So if you have the black one, the black version, which comes with the Chi Coil Mini here, this one is not, is not wireless. This one needs to be connected to uh, your, your device, which could be your laptop, computer, uh, tablet, or phone. So you'll be able to use Bluetooth if you have the right equipment. Also, the uh, high power kit has Bluetooth as well. So if you want to increase your power 11 times, you can get that one. And that, that will super energize your coils and make them so powerful. They can reach, um, they'll reach a lot further. If you read the re reviews like on, on Amazon on terahertz frequency wands, they're not that good. I, I did some research. The results are, are, are not that good and terahertz frequency they only have one frequency in there and they use some kind of looks like a hair dryer application i mean there's some people that say it, it works great but from my experience it's it's not that effective so with g coils you have a way more frequencies you have over 10,000 frequencies and you have a measurable field and you have the toroidal energy field spiraling energy field, which actually makes a difference. There's a lot of PEMF or magnetic field devices, but they don't have the proper shape. They don't have the toroidal spiraling energy shape, which is how energy is supposed to interface with your body. If you think about how your chakra system works, your chakras actually are vortexes. So they actually emit energy in spirals. If you study Kundalini, like Kundalini, is in the spiral, right? And your and your kundalini actually spirals in a certain way. So you go in different directions, you get a different experience with the energy field. That's why we have the yin and yang coils. But a lot of these stuff out there, like the terahertz frequencies, wands or PMF devices, they don't they miss this.